We are exactly two weeks away from the November 8th election. Have you cast your vote yet? I've got John Paulton. He's our Director of Political Operations here with me today. John, good to have you. Good to be here, Kim. <laughs> well, you were telling me just a little bit ago about a very important fact that very few people know or think about. Well, that's right. That's the fact that most family policy matters are really decided at the state level. Uh, we forget that, especially when the media focuses so much attention on the presidential race. But it's really the way the Founding Fathers intended it. Um, they gave certain powers to the federal government, uh, only certain powers, and then if, if there were any doubt, they made clear in the Tenth Amendment that everything else is left to the states and to the people. That's eroded quite a bit over the years as, as Congress has stepped in more and more, as the Supreme Court has overreached. But still, even today, most of the issues that we talk about here, uh, abortion, assisted suicide, school policy, um, religious freedom, bathroom policy, uh, marijuana, all of these things are mostly decided at the state level, uh, which makes uh, the upcoming elections at the state level so important. And we've got some really important issues in some really important states going on this year. Oh, that's right. Uh, in North Carolina with their huge bathroom policy debate, um, all kinds of other debates around the country. But then as we look ahead to what happens in the state legislative sessions in January, that's all going to be impacted by what happens in the elections in two weeks. Uh, so we've got uh, at least 13 states that have state legislative chambers that could flip from one party's control to another, which would have huge impact for good or for bad in, in, in these various issues. Um, same thing with governor's races. There are at least five huge governor's races, uh, North Carolina, Montana, Missouri, Indiana, West Virginia. Um, and, and the outcomes of those races will impact all of these issues. And as you always say, John, staying home just isn't an option, is it? No, it's, it's sure not. Uh, we can, elections have consequences, as often said, um, and it will have, it will have consequences on all of these issues. There are some early signs that people on the other side of the ide ideological spectrum are getting out and voting a little more than our people are. Um, that's not set in stone, that can still change. And uh, we need to make sure we get out and vote and bring everybody with us. It's not just about the presidential race, it really is about all of these huge down ticket races. All right, so the message is you've got two weeks, get out and vote on November 8th, cast your ballot and make a difference.